Hi guys, welcome back to Ginger and C for another shark talk. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the mass extinctions that the sharks survived through, when they happened, what caused them, and then how did sharks survive through those four extinctions to still be on Earth today. So let's start with the very first extinction that they survived through, it's called the Late Devonian extinction, it happened around 380 million years ago till about 360 million years ago. So this extinction actually lasted around 20 million years and wiped out around 75% of all life on Earth. Now, majority of life at this time was in the ocean and a lack of oxygen in the ocean is what caused this mass extinction over those 20 million years. There's also a possibility that there was an asteroid strike around 377 million years ago, which maybe also played its part in this mass extinction event. The next mass extinction to hit Earth was the Permian-Triassic extinction, lasted around 60,000 years, around 252 million years ago, and it is known as the Great Dying, and this is the most catastrophic event to life on Earth. It wiped out 90% of all life on Earth, and around 96% of all the living organisms in the ocean. This mass extinction lasted for around 60,000 years, the Earth after this mass extinction was extremely hostile and life took around 10 million years to actually start to recover and continue to diversify and evolve. So following this extinction, just 50 million years later, around 200 million years ago, the next mass extinction happened, which was the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. And this wiped out around 75% of life on Earth and gave rise to the dinosaurs. These three mass extinctions were thought to be caused by massive volcanic activity, causing huge amounts of carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere, causing huge amounts of global warming. Also, with sulfur being released into the atmosphere, there's likely to be a lot of acid rain, which caused death on land of plants and trees, and also acidification of the ocean. The final mass extinction we look at is probably the most famous and most well-known for causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. This was the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. And as a lot of you probably know, this was caused by a massive meteor strike on Earth. This meteor is thought to be around seven and a half miles wide and struck Earth just off the east coast of Mexico. Not only were there direct effects on the Earth from this impact, such as wildfires that ravaged the Earth 900 miles around the impact crater, also tsunamis that swept across the ocean and around the globe, covering vast areas of land in seawater. But also there were more long-term effects due to the debris and dust that was kicked up into the air on impact, causing a huge amount of global cooling and changing the atmosphere in that way. So in a very short period of time, the ecosystem where dinosaurs thrived started to collapse. Those non-avian dinosaurs became extinct. This mass extinction opened up a niche which gave rise to mammals, which is why we see a vast majority of mammals on land today. So how did sharks survive all of these mass extinctions? It's not really known, but it is thought that because many of the shark species lived in the very deep oceans, they were able to survive as they were not affected by these catastrophic events as much as in shallow water. So generally the mass extinctions caused acid rain and huge global temperature changes, but it seems like the deep oceans were not affected as much by this. These temperature changes did not reach the deep oceans. Also, the deep oceans are very low in oxygen already, so any animal that survives down in these low oxygen conditions are gonna be able to withstand low oxygen conditions better than these shallow water species that are used to these very high oxygen levels, which then drop during a mass extinction. So sharks being so varied living in shallow waters as well as deep waters allowed them to come through these mass extinctions. And once the oceans became more hospitable with rising oxygen levels, this allowed sharks to re-diversify moving back up into the shallow waters as we see today. One topic that we must talk about is the mass extinction that we are experiencing today due to human activity thousands of species around the globe are threatened by extinction and we are seeing animals going extinct over the last hundred years at a much faster rate than any of the natural extinctions have seen. Scientists are predicting that if we continue as we are and all the animals that are threatened with extinction currently do become extinct in the next hundred years and we maintain that momentum, we will be looking at a 
mass extinction event, 75% of all life on Earth becoming extinct in just three to 500 years, which is hundreds of times faster than any of those natural mass extinction events we have seen in the past. So we must start putting more effort into protecting species, protecting ecosystems, protecting the atmosphere in order to avoid this catastrophe happening in our lifetimes. So continue to learn about the mass extinction that we are seeing at the moment, going on to WWF, National Geographic, Greenpeace, all of those sites will give you a lot more information about what we can do to try and slow and hopefully stop this mass extinction event that we are starting to cause. I hope you guys have really enjoyed the talk today. Please give it a like at the bottom if you've enjoyed it. Drop me a comment if there's something you particularly enjoyed and if there's any other topics that you particularly want me to cover in the future. And then also don't forget to click the subscribe button so you guys can keep up to date with all the new newest videos. If you want to support these talks, then please check out my T-Mill clothing store, which I'll put a link in the description below. You can have a look at the clothes that I've designed there. And by buying them, you not only support me, but also you support sustainable fashion. All these clothes in the store are sustainably made with renewable energy, with non-damaging chemicals, and are supporting circular and sustainable fashion. So please support my talks by commenting, liking, subscribing, looking at my store, showing me some love, and continuing to watch my videos. I hope you really enjoyed today's talk, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.